Chet Walmack here from theprepperproject.com with Engineer775 with the question about how an EMP or CME would affect people who are concerned about their solar panels in an event like those. It's a great question. So I got to give you a couple of answers to that. With a CME, the solar panels are typically too small, even a large array of solar panels. Um, and there's some guidelines, and it's like 100, under 100 meters or 300 feet in length that that CME will not be able to couple with your solar panels or so anything they're, smaller they're than that. They're fairly safe in a CME event, except for if your system is tied to the grid. If it's a, uh, you know, a, a grid-tied solar system, you're in, they're not protected. If it's a grid interactive system where you have some still connectivity between the grid and your solar system, because it's not just the panels, it's the inverters, the charge controllers, and everything in there, so they're not necessarily protected unless, you, unless you've put protection in there. Now, with an EMP, you, you have that line of sight towards a solar panel, they're not protected. Uh, you know, solar panels made up of a collection of 36 to 72 cells that are basically complete a circuit. And there are solid state electronics like backup di you know, diodes in the panel that would keep, in order to get that voltage consistent and the amperage of each panel, that's a circuit. And that circuit could fry and, and disable that solar panel if the EMP couples directly into the panel. And that's going to happen in a nuclear event, not a CME event. If you're interested in how you can protect yourself from a CME or an EMP event, just click on the link below.